Greetings from my library. Right now you are looking at my hold shelf. You have a view of the 5th grade, 4th grade, and 3rd grade holds. You'll see there are not any 2nd grade holds and there's only one K1 hold. The intermediate kids tend to place more books on hold than the younger kids because the older kids are able to do it by themselves. Here at the 1st grade we'll start. This is a 1st grader who has this book on hold and he is wild about the Mal and Chad series. He's read books 1 and 2 multiple times. Every time he comes to the library he asks me if I have book 3 yet for him. I've already placed book three on hold, even though the book's not out yet. As soon as we enter books into the system, students are able to place them on hold. Students know when new books are in the system because A, I tell them about them, B, they're hung up around the school, and C, the older kids, I email them when new books go on hold and they're able to place them on hold right away. Let's skip down to third grade. We have Steal That Base, one of the top, the Tops League story volumes. And we have a 39 Clues Guide, 39 Clues Guide, um, Operation Trinity. Fourth grade, we have Baby Mouse for President. The Secret of the Fortune Wookiee, the third book in the Origami Yoda series by Tom Engelberger. All three books are very popular in my library. Happy to see this on the hold shelf. The Castle Corona by Sharon Creech. Sharon Creech visited my school last month, so you'll see quite a few Creech titles here on the shelf. This is Barbara O'Connor's new book. Barbara O'Connor is no stranger to Illinois award list. Barbara O'Connor had a book last year on the Blue Stem list, which is a reader's choice for grades 3 through 5, called How to Steal a Dog. She's also had multiple books on the Rebecca Caudle. So this is her new book, which I've had a fun time telling students about. This is Sharon Creech's new book, The Great Unexpected. As I said, Sharon came recently, so many kids are reading her newest book. Let's put these back. And the last section is fifth grade. Here on the front, you'll see Super, the new book by Matthew Cody, the sequel to Powerless. Powerless was the winner of the 2012 Rebecca Caudle. As I just mentioned before, Blue Stem is for grades 3 through 5, and Caudle is for grades 4 through 8. Here we have another Creech book, Love That Dog, and this is a Blue Stem nominee. The new book in the Amulet series, Prince of the Elves. Amulet is very popular here. A Dog Called Homeless by Sarah Lean. Another Love That Dog. The Infinity Ring. The first book is called A Mutiny in Time by James Dashner. It's similar in structure to 39 Clues where you can read the book and then play the games. One for the Murphys. And last but not least, A Fine, Fine School by Sharon Creech and illustrated by Harry Bliss. So let's put these back, and I'm going to show right next to here. This is not a hold shelf, but these are where I put books that I'm going to book talk and books that I am do using for projects. So right now, Mr. Colby Sharp and I are hosting a mock Caldecott between our two schools, and these are some of the books on the mock Caldecott. We have Another Brother, Extra Yarn, Bear Has a Story to Tell, Green, this is not my hat. A home for bird. Callie's song. Hello, hello. A rock is lively. And then it's spring. And here's a sharp shoe title uh, for the sharp shoe book club. A rabbit and robot by C.C. Bell. So I'm leaving you here from my hold shelf. And I hope you are having a wonderful day. And happy, happy reading.